Because there's so many distractions in the modern world, you have to figure out how to counter them. And if you don't, you're going to be controlled by the forces that exist in your environment. You're going to be controlled by all the things that can just grab your attention and keep it that are in your environment. You're just going to be reacting to life. So what is a distraction? A distraction is something in your environment that is able to just get your attention, keep it there, and it's not really contributing any value to your life. It's usually something that you're using to escape the present moment, to escape your life. So some examples of this, mindlessly scrolling on Instagram, excessive entertainment, zoning out to the TV, junk food, talking to the wrong people, checking your phone over and over again, checking your email way too much. All these things just grab your attention, keep it there, and they don't really do anything for you. They're kind of just allowing you to remain in a very numb state and just very drained state. So it starts off like this. You're unaware of distractions. You don't even identify all these things as distractions. And then you begin to notice that, oh, these are distractions. I'm just reacting to the things that are in my environment. I'm reacting to what's on the news. I'm reacting to the junk food on my counter. And basically my environment is controlling me. I'm not doing anything very consciously. It's just the things in my environment and how it's been set up that is uh, just you know, controlling me. I'm not doing anything consciously. And then you can begin to be more undistracted. And undistracted means that it's harder for those things to actually pull at your attention because you're consciously investing your attention into things that actually help you. You're investing your attention into things that actually give you energy and actually add value to your life. So why does this matter? If you don't cut out distractions from your life, you're going to live your whole life just reacting to the first things that were able to get your attention your whole life is going to slip away and all you're going to really do is mindlessly scroll on Instagram, check your email, check your phone a thousand times, eat junk food, go to work, talk to the wrong people, and that'll basically just be your life. But if you can identify the things that aren't actually giving you value, that are just distracting you and begin to cut them out, now you can begin to consciously recreate your life so that you can build something great with it. So it's pretty difficult to actually change a lot of your habits because you're so deeply ingrained in them. You're very deeply ingrained in waking up and checking your phone or checking your email or eating certain foods or just doing certain things that aren't very good for your mind and your body. Rewiring habits is fairly difficult, but if you're able to consciously create an environment where it's very hard for you to be distracted, this makes it a lot easier for you to actually rewire these patterns inside of you. So what do I mean by consciously create an environment? When you wake up, don't just have your phone next to you because now you've created an, an environment where it's easy for you to just wake up and just start reacting to life the second you wake up and just start distracting yourself. You've set up your environment in such a way so that it's very easy for you to just fall off track. Whereas if your phone is in a bag, in a drawer, in a different room, if it's just somewhere else that's out of your sight, now something else has to get your attention. And if it's something good for you, like meditation, uh, healthy foods, reading, a walk in nature, exercise, now it's a lot easier to begin to recreate your life. So your environment plays a massive role in this. If you have a TV that you're always watching, it's always distracting you, unplug it, put it in a closet, make it difficult for your environment to control you, make it difficult for you to continuously be distracted. You don't want to easily get distracted you have a lot of power in this circumstance. You have a lot of control here. You can actually just recreate your environment so that there are far less distractions in it. And that will help you to actually focus on things that actually help you in your life. And investing your attention into things that help you in your life is a skill. It's something you actually have to work on. This is something I was working on for seven plus years. Uh, and meditation was probably one of the best ways to be more aware of this kind of stuff. But once again, it, it's taken me many years to be able to identify all these, all these things as distractions and just cut them out to the point where I don't want to be checking my phone. I don't want to be hooked into a TV. This is just not what I'm interested in whatsoever. Whereas before that, I was easily pulled by my environment. I was easily pulled by junk food, entertainment, whatever it was, because I wasn't conscious of the fact that I'm always being distracted, right? And then just being able to invest your attention into things that help you and keep your attention there is a skill. It's something you have to work on. Once again, this has taken me over 
seven plus years to get very good at. And what other option is there to just remain distracted for the rest of your life? Or you can build a life that is actually very great. You can begin to invest your attention into things that give you a lot of energy and value. So you get to choose here. That's it for this video. I'm doing one-to-one -one coaching. I have one spot available. You can book a free call. Link is in the description. Take it easy.